Hello, welcome to my tutorial on how to install XAMPP 1.8.1 on Windows 8. We're going to be taking a look at two great new products today, Windows 8 and uh, the new version of XAMPP comes with a really cool control panel. Um, I'm assuming that you've already downloaded um, XAMPP 1.8.1. So we're going to start from there. We'll go ahead and locate it probably in your downloads folder. And we're going to go ahead and launch our installer. Right, user account control. I'm probably going to have to disable this, but we're going to go ahead and proceed anyways. Cannot work with. Okay, so we need to go ahead and download this. And that'll work. Nice small little download. Okay, we'll go ahead and run this. I've read that because I read really fast. No, I'm just kidding, I didn't read that. I wonder if I get in trouble for clicking yes. I don't know, I'm not gonna find out. Alright, so it's been installed so we can move along now. Go ahead and close this out. Go ahead and click next. And this is fine. We'll just go ahead and leave the defaults. Um, if you want to change the location of exam, uh, let me see, where does it give me that option? I don't guess we do that here. Let's go ahead and click next. Ah, that's where. So I'm going to go ahead and leave the default. That's a good location, easy to locate. Click install. Alright, so now it's finished installing, so we're going to go ahead and click finish. And we'll go ahead and take a look at the uh, control panel now. So it was cool, it managed to do all that without having to disable user account control. Alright, so now if we want to install this where it automatically runs whenever we start Windows, we can just go ahead and click to install them as a service. The main ones you're probably going to want is uh, Apache and MySQL. All right, so it's asking to connect to these networks. We'll go ahead and click Public. Go ahead and allow access. And we'll go ahead and do the same with MySQL. Install it as a service. All right, the other ones that you may want, uh, I'm not sure what Tomcat is, uh, FileZilla, you may want that. I'll cover that in another tutorial. But then, but now that we've got these installed as a service, you could easily uninstall them by clicking the check mark. We'll go ahead and start them. And as long as nothing's using the ports, they should go ahead and start just fine. All right. And we'll go ahead and start MySQL as well. The nice thing is it tells you what ports that it's tying up. All right, and so now we've got that um, figured out. Let's see what the configuration does. Okay, so you can choose configuration. All right, look at that. All right, so balls following it well, we'll go ahead and launch our browser now. We'll go to uh, localhost. Alright, now we should see your XAMPP splash screen. Uh, and you'll only see this the first time you run it or install XAMPP. Click on English. And the next part we need to go to is go ahead and go to uh, security. And as Joe says and says that the pages are accessible by network for everyone and MySQL um, user has no root so we'll go ahead and go to the click here to take care of the security problems give our uh, root user a password it should be a secure password by the way 
long as you're using it on your local network. Now if you want to go ahead and do this, you can uh, protect the XAMPP directory. I'm not going to do that, but you can go ahead and enter a password there. We've set that. And now we'll go back to uh, we'll close this and go back to XAMPP. Then we'll do click on security again. All right, and then it's going to say that that is not secure. And that's okay, I'm not too worried about that, but you can fix it if you want. These are some important ports that you may want to know about. Um, and so we should have it all set up now. Uh, it'll take us back here every time. Now, when you get ready to start uh, doing your website, go back to the desktop, we can go to, uh, let's see, Go to your local drive to users. Uh, no, no, no. Exam. htdocs, and this is where we'll start working our uh, working our magic. And from here on out, I mean, you can go ahead and erase these if you want, or you can use the exam. But that's all for this tutorial, and that successfully installs exam, gets it running on uh, Windows 8. Thank you for watching.